What up, everybody? It's your boy, Young Fizz, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we are back inside of the machine, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to layer your sounds inside of machine. So before I get into the tutorial, please make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as turn on the bell notifications. Also, hit the like button. All right, so let's go ahead and get into today's tutorial, which is how to layer sounds. Particularly, I'm going to be working with drum samples today. All right, so say... For example, we're creating a beat and we want the kick and the hi-hat to be played together. All right, so this is very easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and click the kick and then we're gonna go ahead and click this symbol here. And this is like a numeric keypad, kind of, kind of reflecting the pads here. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. That's gonna bring us here. And then we're gonna go ahead and click link. And I'm gonna go ahead and link that to number one. My hi-hat is on number three, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and link that to number one. So one and three are linked. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this just to exit out of there. And so now number one and three, which is my kick and hi-hat is gonna be linked. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change the tempo and I'm gonna go ahead and program a beat here. Okay, I just programmed a simple beat and now we can see that the kick and the hi-hat are linked together. All right, so let's go ahead and take this a step further. One of the things I like to do to organize the session a little bit is to kind of do a little something called session cleanup. And that's just so that I can see when I export the track, what, what is what. So if I go ahead and export this right now, I can see that the kick, snare, hi-hat, and open hi-hat are basically gonna be exported. But I don't wanna send the engineer any kind of air that's just wasting up space on his computer and my computer and it's just wasting time because he has to look at the track and figure out is there anything on here is it too quiet so what we want to do is go ahead and treat the engineer nicely by simply cleaning up the session before we send the track so what i like to do is turn this little uh, speaker button off and i'm gonna bring up the hi-hat and the kick right here all right so the hi-hat kick and snare all right so these two here I'm gonna go ahead and shift click that and we're gonna change the color. So I know these two sounds are linked together. We're gonna change it to yellow. All right. And then the snare, we're just gonna change it just to maybe a different color, just so I can see it a little bit more clearly. So one more tip before I export is that I know I'm not using anything below the snare. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is select number four, highlight, hold shift, click down to 16, do a right click, and I'm gonna basically do reset. So now I've cleaned up the session. Also, I can change the level here. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my snare, just the hi-hat level, and we're gonna play it back. So that's sounding really good. Now what I can do is export. So when I export it, I go back to drums. Now I see that the kick, hi-hat, and snare is the only thing that is gonna be exported. So. I can go ahead and export this, name it, save it to this location, and then I'm done. So that is how you layer drum sounds inside a machine. I hope you guys found this tutorial to be valuable. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.